Introducing iBeacon, Apple's shining achievement in proximity services. So what is it? Let me take you through it. Picture a lighthouse. A lighthouse sends a signal of light to communicate with ships. Similar to a lighthouse, a beacon uses a Bluetooth low energy signal to communicate with any smart device in its range. Simple, right? Let's talk hardware. There are many devices that can be used to broadcast as a beacon, such as a computer, iPad, USB, and iPhone. There's plenty of options to suit your own personal needs. Once broadcasting, you get the microlocation of a device in the vicinity of a beacon, which is much more accurate than a satellite struggling to get a precise GPS location all the way from space. It's amazing how beacons are activated just by walking nearby. Let's look for example. You could be out for a stroll when your phone gets a notification from a nearby store. It's enticing, so you go in to check it out. Upon entering, an employee greets you. As you make your way around the store, you notice a product you really like. The beacon recognizes you near the product and delivers a coupon straight to your phone. At checkout, your phone is scanned, redeeming your coupon. This completes your purchase. On the way out, the store offers you a discount upon returning, motivating you to come back. How cool is that? Three main things happen here. The offline physical location, the digital online attraction, and the resulting action offline, or we like to say offline, online to offline. It's about the real world, not just the digital one. So where can IB can be used? It can be used in retail, transportation, restaurants, homes, hotels, museums, stadiums, schools, and even amusement parks. Essentially, you can use iBeacon anywhere.